Hello, Nomad's Kalbt and with a new version 185 the tube has a UV map and this is an absolute fantastic thing. So this video is not a tutorial, it's an overview um, what you can do with the tube and the, the UV map. So here you see here this is a tube and there's a texture on the tube. So, so you can play here um, with, a, with a tube notes. Sorry, I pressed the wrong button. And so it's possible to create um, such uh, trees or plants. So, um, and you have full control of the whole thing. And or such spiral things and such things you can use here for bandages or so for when you want to create a mummy or so many things are possible so this tube is validated and this is a, such a rope thing or a spiral like this and one of the most important things is uh, for the most of us is the it's possible now to create such hair cards. So this is um, this is only a tube and there's a texture of hair on it. So now it's possible to create a such such a hair thing in a in a few seconds. Or this is. Um, yeah, in fact, these are all tubes here. And for these hair cards, there are extra tutorials. So how to create them. So here when I use here the inspect button, you can see here um, the, the maps here. This is the normal map or this is a color map for the hair. And, and this is opacity map. So you put these maps on the, on, the, on the tube and be happy. So, yeah, sorry, I forgot something. Um, yeah, so here or this leaf here is also a tube. So, when we press inspect and uh, see this is the color texture. So there's only a leaf on the texture and yeah, you get this. Another um, uh, nice thing is you can um, use here. So yeah, this is um, your tube and this is a, a grid texture on the tube and it's possible to project such textures on other meshes. So in fact, oh sorry, So when you select the leg, and I need more topology for the leg, so I use multi-resolution and subdivide the mesh to, yeah, I go a step back. It's too high, it takes too long. So, and now it's possible to reproject the mesh. So for this mesh, I have to check the, here you see the opacity, texture is active and now I select this one I add a layer and here the opacity is active this is okay and then we press from high res so so when I use now the solo view you see the 
the texture of the tube is reprojected on the leg. So you need a high poly count, but uh, you can do very crazy things with this. Um, yeah. And for all tubes, you can create such um, offset or displacement uh, things here. So when I validate this tube here, and here it's important to have an um, a opacity map on this. So I have to find the opacity for this. And here is a... Um, a sync or link option. So now it's possible when I add a layer that I can reproject um, from itself and use the opacity mask. So now I can create such displacements like this. It's a very complex topic. Um, in fact, it's um, like this. You select the tube. And then we need um, a texture. So maybe search for such a grid texture so I pick this here and then here for the textures you can use here now your grid texture and here in the texture settings, you can change here the, the scaling. And now the, the texture follows the tube. Like this. And so you can change the textures. Let's search for another texture. Maybe mm. use this, open it, so and here's a reset button, so can play a little bit with the um, scaling and translation and so on. So now you get something like this on your tube. It's possible to create um, scales and so on. So I have a complete um, library for this. Um, So only a few examples, so where's my, yeah, this is a road, it's 
so and here you can now create your road and yeah or here scales can change here the, the scaling maybe five so you get something like this here and create yeah, dragon tails and so on uh, hair braid, wire cable. This is also nice. Here there's a, a wine bottle. So uh, lots of things are possible. So such a metal grid. such a tower <coughs> so use this feature it's very very uh, handy and you can do a lot of stuff with it yeah I love it so have fun with sculpting and ciao